Hi, thanks for joining us here at Valley News Live. We're taking a look at downtown Fargo and to be honest, there's not much to see there now that the sun is set. So what did this view look like as the sun was setting this evening? A lot of those great passing clouds moving throughout the valley. No showers, fortunately for us at the moment. And our temperature is at 63 degrees and it's a touch warmer over in Moorhead where it is 64 there. And the wind has died down a little bit. It's only at six miles an hour now and temperatures across the region are showing most people in the 60s, though we do have a 70 down there at Aberdeen and some 50s up along the international border. Baudette 59, Langdon 55 and Devil's Lake at 55 degrees. We do show those scattered showers continuing to move across the valley this evening and there is a new round of showers approaching Jamestown and the rest of the James River Valley as we move on into the overnight hours and we'll continue to see that thanks to that low pressure system hanging out to our west bringing a whole lot of moisture and warm air to our region and you can even see a little bit of those remnants of Ian hanging around in in and around Washington DC as we look through the overnight hours and into tomorrow we'll continue to see those scattered showers throughout the nighttime hours here we are at about one and as you can see Jamestown and the rest of the James River Valley they're getting walloped with some rain at that hour as we move on through the early morning hours we see at about five o'clock that rain is a bit more widespread across the valley particularly along the international border and for people in North Dakota and around Carrington, you could see some uh, rumbles of thunder at that hour rather than just some showers, which we have been seeing throughout most of this weekend. Now, as you wake up tomorrow, tomorrow morning, you'll see more of the same, more of those showers impacting, again, most people in North Dakota and again, up along the international border. We do have a break in the rain for a little bit around noontime, just a couple of those showers instead of that more widespread. And We'll see temperatures reach almost 70 degrees for a lot of people and even some 70s. Fergus Falls there at 71, Wadena at 70. And by evening time, we'll see our temperatures increase even more, where most people at that hour are in the 70s. Only a couple holdouts, Bemidji at 68, Faustin at 69, and Baudette at 68 as well. And of course, we'll see those showers hanging around at that hour. And Tomorrow evening we could see another round of some showers and some of these down in the James River Valley could be uh, some thunderstorms just uh, but nothing strong or severe just a rumble of thunder or two at that hour as we look at our afternoon at a glance we'll see most people in the 70s only a couple 60s hanging on there and if you're not seeing showers you're gonna see clouds at that hour and here in Fargo we'll see clouds throughout most of the day maybe a break or two just to see some blue sky in between those clouds and we'll peak our temperatures in the low 70s and take a look at this rainbow and those fall colors from Daedra from an undisclosed location but very pretty as we move into those fall uh, move further into fall we'll see more of those pictures coming out and it's just lovely for this time of year as we see we have our temperatures continuing to be in the 70s at least through Wednesday with chances of showers until Wednesday morning but wet Thursday brings a lot of wind and with it cold dry air for the rest of our week after that 26 on Friday morning. Oh wow that's crazy <sighs> get a little scarf to wrap that around your neck you yep. know to bundle up. <laughs> All right thanks so much.